Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. In this video, we will learn about Active Directory concepts. It is not all. Uh, it is not about Active Directory concept. It is about Azure Active Directory concepts. Okay, very important when you deal with Active Directory or when you work on Active Directory. So you need to be very informative and good with all the concepts of active directory okay i hope this video will give you some information so guys make a note so in this video guys uh, this i have already discussed in my previous video last video okay uh, this is a scenario of active directory the, uh, this part was my local on premises active directory okay and uh, this part was from cloud and azure ad so we are going to see what are the uh, concepts we should be familiar with or we should know to be very good in active directory azure active directory so either it is local active directory on premises active directory or azure active directory at both location or on both platform we will have users and groups and for those users and groups we need authentication and authorization okay uh, the mechanism for authorization and authentication can be different as you can see here in windows server active directory uh, authentication mechanism is Kerberos ntlm and if you look at azure active directory so they are using saml auth open id and ws federation for authentication okay guys but users groups will be common on both the platform so let's see what are the concepts related to azure active directory okay so guys to implement azure active directory in your corporate configuration you need to understand the key components of service the following table describes the main components and concepts of Azure AD and explains how they work together to support service features. Okay, so these are Azure concepts, AD, uh, Azure AD concepts and the description is here. So the very first one is identity. Okay, let's see what is the description of, uh, of identity here. So guys. An identity is an object that can be authenticated. Okay, so it is an object that can be authenticated, and uh, the identity can be a user with a username and password. Okay, I hope it is very clear. The identity can be user with username and password, and identities can also be application or other servers that require authentication by using secret keys or certificates so application and server can also be an entity uh, that require authentication okay and for this purpose again they will have either key or certificate to get authentication or authorization azure ad is the underlying product that provide the identity service so yes azure ad will provide or it provides identity service the very first one is complete i hope there is no confusion in this identity is nothing but it is an object which is having one username and password and requires authentication now we will learn about the next one which is account so let's see what is account what does it mean by account so guys an account is an identity that has data associated with it so an account is an identity that has data associated with so uh, uh, there is no big difference between account and identity okay if there is an identity there will be an account and that has data associated with it to have an account you must first have a valid identity okay you cannot have account without an identity because if there is a data that data needs to be accessed by account and for that he needs for that particular 
account needs to have one username and password and that comes as a identity okay very simple i hope there is no confusion guys the next one is third one azure ad account okay guys this is third one so azure ad account is an identity that is created through azure ad or other microsoft cloud service that is why it is called azure ad account such as microsoft 365 identity uh, identities are stored in azure ad and are accessible to your organization's cloud service subscriptions the azure ad account is also called a work or a school account okay guys the next concept is azure tenant or directory so an azure tenant is a single dedicated and trusted instance of azure ad so it is a single dedicated and trusted instance of azure ad each tenant also called a directory represents a single organization okay you should make note of these things when your organization sign up for a microsoft cloud service subscription a new tenant is automatically created because each tenant is a dedicated and trusted instance of azure ad you can create multiple tenant or instances the next concept is azure subscription what does it mean so guys an azure subscription is used to pay for azure cloud services a subscription is linked to a credit card each subscription is joined to a single tenant you can have multiple subscriptions apart from this guys a small tip here if you are a microsoft 365 azure or dynamic crm online customer you might already be using azure ad every microsoft 365 azure and dynamic crm tenant is already an azure tenant you can start using your tenant to manage access to thousands of other cloud apps that integrates with azure ad so guys i am done with this a small video i wanted to create a separate video so that you can have a clear information about five very important uh, concepts of uh, azure ad because if i create a lengthy video two hour three hour video that will create messed up okay so i hope this will be informative and if you feel it is informative you know what you have to do whatever you can from this you can see on screen and next video we will learn about compare active directory domain service to azure active directory okay so for this you need to be with channel subscribe channel and i will meet you in next video till then bye bye